Yes, awesome. Our shooting. Hi, Roxanne here. Cooking fresh with Roxanne. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna pickle some zucchini. It's a quick pickle. It means it's gonna go in the fridge afterwards. It's gonna be sealed. Got the lid. Gonna seal it. Gonna go in the fridge. Gonna sit in there. You can. Uh, you can open this after a few hours and eat the same day and it tastes delicious or you can let it wait at least two days or up to two weeks. Wonderful tasting. Um, it's made with vinegar and water and salt and sugar and we'll put a recipe up there for you and uh, some spices. So let's get started. I'm going to move the camera around so you got a better angle. It's not as important that you see me as it is that you see the process. So process is first we spiralized with this thing here we spiralized we got our 12 cloves of garlic and our spices all spice coriander we got pepper corns in there and we've got a little dill weed dried dill weed the coriander part of the whole gardening thing coriander came right out of my garden. I had to dry it last night and pick it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take each one of these little bottles and got a little baby one. And we're going to start with garlic. This big one, I'm going to start with him first. Put a big old container and a big old wad in there. He's probably going to need more. I'm putting about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon in each one. Okay. Who doesn't need garlic in their life? Garlic is amazing. For un entertainment purposes only, I hear garlic lowers your blood pressure. Who doesn't need that? The way people drive these days. Your blood pressure goes up just the second you think about getting in your car. Like, ah! Oh my god! Okay. Now, I'm not going to put much in there. You need that much. Now, I'm going to take the rest of it and put it back up here in Big Guy. This bottle is going to be the one I have in there. You can keep this in the fridge for a few months. Always remember vinegar is kind of a natural preservative well it is a natural preservative all right now while i'm doing this i still have our vinegar and water boiling on the stove we're kind of getting a little bit aggressive there a little bit of you a lot of bit of you a little bit a little bit That allspice just, it looks so good. I love it when you put the water in. The allspice is the real showstopper. It floats around in there and just looks all cool and awesome. Flavor wise, it helps all, it gives it that like, um, like what's that? <laughs> People are always ask me, what was that anyway? Okay, now, next part of our show. This is very important. Be careful, okay? <laughs> okay. I was going to try and put that up one, but there's no way. It's a tad too strong. Here we go. Take a little measuring cup and very carefully spoon it out, put it in your little jar until you get about well, about a half an inch from the top. See? Let's get that in there. This is so easy. If you think you're a beginner and oh no, there's no way I could do this, you're wrong. This is actually very easy to do. See that? That's not so bad. Okay. Wipe the top off with your little finger. Now take your lid, and remember, this is going to be canned, because what's happening is the heat is sealing it for you. Mmm. Oh, that smells so good. Take a look at that. Isn't that nice? I'm going to do that to the rest of these. Yes. Down below. So you're able to do it yourself. Now remember, 
it's easy and it's very inexpensive that took about four cute uh four zucchini and 12 cloves of garlic we got a little allspice some coriander seed a little dill weed and of course your peppercorns a little salt a little vinegar a little water boil put together screw on lid easy and delicious and good for your health tickles are great for your health great for gut health for entertainment purposes only. Thank you so much. I really enjoy these times together. My name is Roxanne Brown, and this is Cooking Fresh with, Fresh with Roxanne. If you have any questions, just email me at roxannebrown2691 at gmail.com or text me, and I'll put the number down below. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful, blessed day.